Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Spaces folder, which is a subcomponent of the access method by Nick Milo. If you're interested in how to set up your vault, you can feel free to check out the previous two videos, which are located somewhere up here above my head. Otherwise you can look down in the description below and I have my Obsidian Mastery playlist that might also help you out. So let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, in our previous video, we talked about creating a set of blank folders called the template maps folder. You can see this inside our spaces directory here. And inside the template maps folder, you can see our four folders, which are maps of content, areas, projects, and support notes. Each spaces folder is a blank workspace for you to work within and should focus on an area of life or focus of responsibility. So let's create a space and actually demonstrate it in use. So first off, we wanna copy our template maps folder and rename it. To do that, right click on the spaces folder and go show in system explorer. So we'll open up our spaces folder here open it up, uh, spaces folder, and then you have our template maps folder. What you wanna do is left click it, press Control C and Control V, which will create a, a copy directory. You can see it right here that it's actually created a new one here. From here, we're actually done with the System Explorer, so we can close that out. So let's go back to Obsidian and rename that to an area that we're, or a space of, of, of work that we're focusing on. This one is for a blog or a vlog in the future, so we'll call it blog blog. Minimizing our template maps folder, we have our blog vlog and you have our MOCs, areas, projects and support notes, our maps ready to go. Now inside our MOCs, you can see I've already got a template MOC ready to go and you can see it's got nothing in this template. Now in a previous video, I showed you the code, but the code is right here on screen. You can see that I've already prepared it with a template MOC file name or tag to, to look for in the, in the data view plugin. From here, we'll change that tag. We'll decide on the tag that we're gonna use for the rest of the, the video. So this one is for Tuft side notes. We'll call this Tuft, which will then not show anything because we don't have anything yet. So now we're gonna create a project that is gonna follow our, our guidelines here. And we're gonna create a brand new folder for Tuft side notes. So we go right click on projects, new folder, and we'll just call that Tuft. I had the helpful suggestion to create a video on Tuft side notes to follow on from my Cornell notes in Obsidian video. In here, we're going to start gathering information to understand Tuft notes and how they might work, starting with a plus encounter note that I grabbed from TFT Hacker's Medium post. Let's process that note and then do some other research to find out the origination of the Tuft note. And finally, we'll distill it down after that. So up inside my encounters file, we have a Tuft side notes encounter that I found. I've included the source here, but I've also copied the full document into an Obsidian note. Let's process that now. Okay, so that was sort of the beginning of capturing some information there. We have uh, four key notes and a couple of encounters notes. Those encounters notes now we'll need to file and uh, we'll get this onto a canvas. So let's have a look at that. All right, so now that we've completed those notes, let's move our encounters notes, which are sort of semi-processed at this point. We'll put them into sources. So moving them down, we go into sources and sources there. That puts them there. One of the, uh, the other things that I don't mind doing here is actually keeping our maps within that. Another place to put this would also be areas because it's sort of within the same area. Uh, you would create another subfolder there. So I would do that like so, so that we know that they're mapped together and like that. We now also have our information here. So let's grab that. We'll put that also into our areas folder. And that takes us back to our project, which has nothing in it. From here, we have Still got our map of content, which shows that we've got all of our information right there. Thanks to our data view, each one of these is a link that we can actually click on still. But what I would like to do now that we've created our areas folder is go back to our project. We want to create a new canvas here. And let's make that full screen, or not full screen, but full obsidian. And from here, we want to just grab our areas onto a canvas here. So we want to go Edward Tuft, we want to go Tuft side notes, we want who are or what are Tuft side notes, um, we want to grab our data to ink ratio and our information design and I'm missing one still. Who is Edward Tuft? Beautiful. 
Hey everyone, me from the future. Just while I was checking out a thing, I noticed or, or thought I would try something out. So with our side notes or with our, uh, our folder that we're trying to action, you can go in and actually grab a folder and drag that onto your canvas and it will grab everything in that folder and drop it onto the canvas in a neat row for you. Anyway, back to the video. Zooming out a little bit. We've got our canvas so that we can shuffle stuff around. So tough side notes, we've got information there that sort of leads to this one. Tough side notes is talking about information design. Information design sort of goes into data to ink ratio. Let's move that over this way. Kind of get a little bit of an idea of a workflow. For some reason in my mind, I work right to left. I don't understand, but it's what happens. Um, tough side notes that was invented by Edward Tuft, we have a who is Edward Tuft. Edward Tuft uh, created side notes there. So we're starting to get some links in, in place. And from here, I would be looking at uh, creating a card. Now this is, uh, this is all canvas things, of course, but uh, once we've got a card here, we can start writing. So um, in this instance, we wanna add our uh, tags, which is going to be Tuft side notes. Uh, blog, blog, uh, we're going to go tags, I'm going to add Tuft to it. So this is the cool thing as well. If we press um, escape here twice, because I'm using Gim plugins. So we press escape, we press shift two, it will full screen that, that note for us so that we can expand it out. You can see that we're still on the canvas though. You click into that and we can start editing some more. Um, but the really cool thing here is that if we then press shift one, it'll zoom it back out and capture everything again, uh, which is neat. And then another thing we can do here is we can go uh, Edward Tuft and make him as big as we like. Um, even though we can see him inside the notes there, it's it's sometimes when you zoom out, you can't see them, but the, the picture stays in focus. Uh, and the other note the, or picture that we have to add is the Tuft side note example which we'll drag over here. That's useful to have. Oops. Grab that, drop that there. Now, as you can see, that starts to come together pretty quickly. We have a uh, canvas here, which is, oh, let's go back to that. We have our canvas here, which is uh, assembled. We've got some links starting to create, and we've got a uh, and we've got a note that we're starting to build into our blog. The other thing that's uh, important to note here is that our map of content has already got some of the information that we've created in there, and we have some additional things that are worth adding in here, such as our untitled canvas, which we'll rename to something useful right now. One last thing to mention here is in our canvas, this is just a card. It doesn't exist as a note just at this very moment. What we can do here is we can right click it and go convert to file. And then we can call this tough blog, which will then create due to my settings here, which is under files and links, default location for new notes, same folder as current file. Really important, really game changing piece of information that one there. And so there you have it. That's our note taking process. That's sort of how you use the, the maps section there. Uh, if I was doing any conversations or supporting notes that required being taken, I would, uh, I would be looking at using this support notes folder right here. Really handy to have, really useful information to be able to, to, to do that there. But also just having all of this information at a, at a glance with your shift one to, to view it all, shift two to zoom in on various things just by clicking around the place and shift one to zoom out to everything. It's really cool at, at capturing a lot of great information really, really quickly. So I want to thank you all for coming along today. This was our deep dive into the maps or spaces directory inside the access folder structure. If you want to check out some of the other videos to, to get started or get deeper knowledge into this, uh, into this information, please check out my other videos, which are around here somewhere. And, um, you know, I hope you all stay safe, happy and healthy, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.